Let's start by comparing the complexity of Wolfram Alpha and Mathematica. I'm going to start us over here at Mathematica, and we're going to look at solving a simple quadratic function. And so I'm going to go ahead and execute this function, and you're going to quickly see that I've made a mistake in writing this function because I don't have a double equal sign here, which is not really a natural thing for users to do when they're just starting out. And so, okay, I, I finally find that and I add it. And my solutions don't really look like they would look in a typical math textbook. They have arrows in them, but, you know, hopefully I can tell that that's what I, I want to be doing here. I could also plot this function, and so I could put it in a plot and go ahead and copy this part right here and put it in and tell it what variable I need and the minimum I want to plot, maybe negative 10 to 10, kind of a standard educational zoom window here. And so then I would have a plot. But notice that I have to give it one input to get the output I want and give it another input to give, get the output I want. Compare that with Wolfram Alpha. And let's go ahead and take that function and set it equal to zero and do the same type of thing I had tried in Mathematica, a solve function. And let's let it go ahead and execute. And so I get the results, and it looks like it would look in a kind of a standard textbook. And I can show the steps for how that might have been accomplished. And even though this was an, a factorable equation, it does show you the steps um, by completing the square. But notice that it also gives us a graph and identifies those two solutions on the graph, negative 2 and positive 7. That's already a big difference. One input gives us lots of output. And there was no need to know where brackets go and braces go and commas go and identifying the variable. So that's already much, much simpler. But watch what happens if I actually take off even more of this. And all I type is x squared minus 5x minus 14. Now you'll see I still get the graphs. But I'm also told that this is a parabola. And I'm given information about the parabola, like the focus and vertex. And I get alternate forms, so there's that factored form. I still get the solutions um, if it's set equal to 0, which are negative 2 and 7. And then I start to get some information about calculus about this. So derivatives, integrals, the global minimum, the area between the curve and the axis. And so that, that opens all sorts of um, discussions that would not otherwise take place. So the simpler my input was, the more information I got out. And that's a huge difference in complexity.